Okay. My friend asked me to address this uh, term called Pan-Indian. And I've seen the term used out there in Indian country as almost derogatory, demeaning, or as if it's a wannabe Indian, or we're not really original. I, I'm considering myself Pan-Indian. And what that means to me is that I'm a very much a mixture of many Indian tribes, because I am. I'm Groban, Asinaboy, Salis, Pandre, and Dakota, and I'm part Irish. And that existence of being Indian of many different tribes, um, one of the things that's a commonality is that we are indigenous people from all those tribes. And another commonality is that we have this relationship with the Europeans that came here. And a lot of those relationships um, have to do with uh, them attacking our culture. And I would hope that Pan-Indian would progress to a time and place where it wouldn't be seen as being derogatory like a lot of people believe being a full blood is the strongest. I believe that there's some strength in that, but because I am a mixture of many tribes, there's also a strength in that, okay? so. Pan-Indian is something that I think we need to re redefine so that it has a meaning that is more progressive, okay? Um, I've seen it used in cartoonist kind of thing, um, depictions by artists where Pan-Indian is almost like as if to somebody's lost. They don't know their roots and uh, I think that's a um, short-sighted, uh, very... Um, tunnel vision of uh, of our very, very small portion of uh, the whole entire picture. That's what I think it is, Pan-Indian. Because Pan-Indian is very, it's almost 360 degrees. And the full-blooded nature of our Indian tribe, tribes, nations, culture, is one of those degrees of all of our Indian existence. That's what Pan-Indian is, is to me. Hello.